Who's this? It's the camera. So, welcome back, guys. Yeah. Um, sorry, it has been so long. So long, far too long. Um, we are going to explain everything. Yes, we will give you an update on what's happened. But this one has probably grown been. a lot since you saw her last. Still causing trouble. So, we last left you whilst we were travelling from Devon up to Derby. Yes. So those of you that have been following us for a while will know that unfortunately my dad has a dementia and is in a care home. Um, and now during lockdown I couldn't go and see him at all, just had to rely on phone calls which weren't the easiest. Um, and they also extended their lockdown way past the national lockdown. But it was around that time in, those, in the videos that um, they opened up again and I could go and see him. So we were having a couple of weeks where I was just kind of, we we're going to be driving up to Derby, coming back to Devon, because at the same time you were renovating yeah, so, your mum's cottage, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. so as you know, I was yeah, helping uh, my mum and a partner Steve renovate their cottage, um, and that was keeping me very busy as well. Yeah, wasn't and it? you so, needed like three or four days at least at a time on that, and then yeah. in those other days, we were going back to Derby to go and see my dad. So we thought we'd take a couple of weeks off YouTube just while we kind of just during that period and stuff because um, we weren't really exploring anywhere we were literally just kind of driving back and forth and it wasn't going to be very interesting um, and also I just wanted to spend that time with my dad and yeah just to kind of you know it was obviously not an easy time so yeah that was where it started but then obviously you know this is a lot longer than a two week break um, yeah so we found out that we were well I say we were Chess was pregnant. Yes. Yes, whilst in a car park in Bristol. Um, <laughs> yeah, so obviously that changed a lot of things, um, yeah. a lot of plans and everything. Um, Our initial plan was to leave on the 22nd of August. Yes, yeah, yeah. As soon as River's rabies jab had settled in, we were going to go. But again, we found out. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I had like my midwife appointment and we did tour with the idea of having my first scan over in France or something. Um, but I think it was like the sake of two and a half weeks. We thought um, we may as well just have it here in the UK. I can get into the system, yeah. get the scans and everything. You can see your dad more. Uh, uh, I can see my dad a little I bit. I can yeah. carry on helping my mum. Excuse so, me, yeah. So yeah, we thought, well, rather than go in August, we'll, you know, we'll go, you know, after my first scan. However, just before the 12 week scan, um, unfortunately, the chest began to bleed and we, my chest suffered a miscarriage. Yes. Yeah. Um, Which was um, obviously a really traumatic time. Um, the way it worked out was um, I actually had a private scan booked because, do you want to say, on the yeah, NHS? Yeah, so we obviously went to see the midwife booked in for our first scan where they told us that I wouldn't be allowed in, um, which is ridiculous considering everybody's allowed to go to pubs, everyone's going to restaurants, cinema, cinema, but your partner can't come in with you and hold your hand when you're having your first baby scan. Even though you're from the same household. Same household, so absolute joke. So we booked a private scan first because they were allowing me in. It's a proper, you know. As a guest, yeah. As a guest, a yeah. It's, you know, it's a proper scan and everything. Um, but. As we got there, you started to bleed. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So um, they found out that the embryo was only six weeks rather than the twelve weeks it should have been. Um, and I just realised I was like, oh yeah, my symptoms had kind of stopped about three or four weeks before. Um, and obviously, then with the bleeding, and I was just like, I you just can't, knew. Can't um, knew she couldn't so. say for definite because she'd only seen it once, and she was like, oh, you could have conceived later than you thought. Um, but we found out pretty early on and I, I just knew, yeah. we just knew that it had been a miscarriage. Um, the first scan obviously you know, wasn't great but thank God that I could be there with Chess rather than her having to be on her own with someone she's never met before. It would know, have been awful. It would have been horrendous. Like, at least that first scan I was like, Ben was with me and holding my hand when we mm. found out. And I just can't imagine having to go through that on my own just would have been yeah, exactly. awful. Or having to just tell you mm. what they said. Yeah. So I still have my NHS scan. Right. And what we done was, I think, did I say that we, we booked to go away after the, after the first scan? Mm. And that was still in place. Um, so I have my NHS scan. That did 
confirm the miscarriage no, um, and that was what I thought was the end of it really. I will just say this next bit, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail but if you are a little bit squeamish or you don't really like talking about those kind of things, um, I'd probably just skip on a few minutes. Um, yes. But basically the gynaecologist and the midwife, neither of them told me what to expect physically from a miscarriage. I knew that it was going to be emotionally traumatic and upsetting. Um, but I didn't really know what to expect. I just thought I would have a normal period and just bleed out probably a bit heavier. What I didn't expect was to experience labour pains while hemorrhaging blood, like yeah. on a tap. Oh. Mm. The nurse Second had given thing. me, I would just say, the nurse gave me codeine. So I thought, and I almost said, no, I don't need it because I'm not experiencing heavy pains. Um, but yeah, um, during the night, I just, was experiencing just the most intense, I would say contractions, just like the most intense pain. Um, and I was just really bleeding quite heavily. And um, to the point where I was just, if I stood up, I just went really dizzy and faint and I was just felt really sick. Mm -hmm. And the pain was just so intense. So we had a really traumatic night and I ended up ringing 111, which is the kind of non-emergency kind of ambulance kind of health um, care line here in the UK um, and she said well, I'll send an ambulance out to you stay where you are and just get your partner to look out for the ambulance during this time I was just like writhing around in pain like my stomach felt like it was being ripped out of me an hour and a half passed and the ambulance never showed up yeah and well, I was still just, hadn't shown up I hadn't yeah. shown up and I was just in complete agony um, but then it got to about what four o'clock mm -hmm. and the pain just stopped dead and I just knew that it had ended. Um, the way I can describe it is like I was experiencing pain and then a wave of pain and then just being in pain and then another wave of it and something just happened and just it just it was like my insides had melted and I just stopped feeling that pain. Mm. And but I later found out and this is like one of the reasons that I want to tell you guys this is that I later found out that is, you can experience labour like pains and contractions when you're going through a miscarriage. You will, you can bleed really, really heavily and you do need to ring someone if you're bleeding. I think it's more than a pad in an hour. Yeah. That's the thing, you should ring 111 or ring the GP. Um, and that what it was is called the pregnancy sac and it's kind of what the embryo is in and when that has to come out that can be the most uncomfortable and the most painful part. But I didn't know any of this. Nobody had explained any of that to me. This is stuff that I was like Googling at three o'clock in the morning. Like, why, why is my yeah. miscarriage so painful? Um, and yeah, I'm just really grateful that I'm okay. And it got mm -hmm. to four o'clock and I just wanted to sleep. And I was really glad that, kind of glad that the ambulance hadn't shown up because by this point I just wanted to sleep and I was yeah. so tired. And I said, look, if I'm still faint and sick and not very good in the morning, um, then we'll go to the hospital. Yeah. We did try calling the ambulance service back to find out where they were, but they said that they couldn't give us a. I don't know. Uh, they were just really busy. They, they had emergencies to deal with, but so we cancelled the ambulance in the end because we just said yeah. it, it sort of all stopped. Doesn't it? So. So and we were meant to be leaving the next day, which brings us on to another delay because yeah, we were meant to be leaving the next day, and obviously I wasn't going to go having just experienced that hemorrhaging yeah. so so we put off leaving for the, another few days I rang the GP and he explained everything and he, given how I was feeling he was happy for me to go yeah and which brings us to where we are yesterday we got yesterday. on the channel tunnel and for the finally we were meant to leave on the 22nd of August and finally. well we were first meant to leave May obviously that got oh, yeah. scuppered with Covid and then April the middle of April but we was vaccines got pushed back yeah. and then obviously what happens last week but we are now finally we're in france yeah we? and we will update you on our travel plans in the next video yes. which should be a vlog which we've got to we get back into the swing of that proper vlog because it's really weird talking in front of this camera again yeah um, but yeah strange. so that's where we have been what's happened been a pretty intense it's, it's summer. Been, yeah, it has. It's been. I feel like I need not a holiday. Fun. But we're both fine. River. River's fine. She is continuing to grow. Um, but I also just wanted to say a big, big thank you to everyone yes, that has messaged. Yeah, it's been really weird not putting videos out, 
but I hope you can understand why we just wouldn't have been able to film videos and vlogs and van life stuff during this summer. It's just Everything been... that has gone on over the past six weeks, we just there was just not enough time, was there? There was barely and... time to breathe. But just to get like messages of support and encouragement, and even you know those of you checking in with us every other week, just to make sure we're still okay. Mm. Um, even though you don't know what's going on has honestly just meant the world because I've been really worried about just like leaving you in the lurch but to but know that you're still you. there honestly yeah. means the world so thank you so much if you know if you've got any questions or you know about or, anything or anything yeah about the miscarriage or anything else you know feel free to yeah. ask you know you we didn't know much or we didn't really know what was going to happen to the extent it did, did we? So No, so whether you're like a woman or a partner and you're going through a miscarriage or it's going to happen to you in the future and you want someone to talk to who's gone through it and stuff, yeah. please just get in touch because I will 100% get back to you because um, there's a lot of stuff that I was never told about. Cool, so we will see you next, next week. week. I promise no, this time. we will see you in the next vlog, in which next will be back to week. red scheduling yeah it should be now I don't know what that is it's yeah do you want to say where we are we're just south um, of Lille in yeah France. so yeah so yeah we're just south of Lille parked up next to a canal and a little lake it's lovely, um, it's, lovely. it's great to be back out again um, yeah. but the river yeah, is we'll, loving it the new sites the smells all the little French dogs yeah she's been a real pain in the ass but <laughs> she's crashed now um, yeah. but yeah we will up we will um, yeah pick up properly next week yeah. and yeah we'll see you then okay. Bye. Bye guys. Planes coming in and going. Everywhere's about the same.